Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Pete, videographer for Major League Baseball. And today I wanna to show you how to make this masked football multiplier effect on Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What is up? Welcome back, Pete here. As I mentioned, my name is Pete, and I just drove eight hours home from Florida uh, from the holidays. It was great. So naturally, first thing I do is make a YouTube video for y'all. Now, this is going to be probably the last video of 2021. Maybe it's the first one of 2022. Regardless, if you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, make sure you hit the like button. But today, we're making this little kind of effect. I don't really have a name for it, but I've seen it used by Texas A&M, maybe the Tennessee Titans, the LA Chargers, go Chargers, and other teams. So I wanted to kind of show how to do this online, and it's something you guys can use in your cinematic videos, your hype videos, your highlight reels, and whatnot. So enough talking. Let's get into the video. All right, everyone, boys and girls, we have our Premiere Pro open. I have some elements, some clips here. I'm going to go down and create a new sequence. I have a couple presets. This is just a 16 by nine YouTube preset in 24 frames. I'm gonna name this football effect, tut. I have some clips here. <clears throat> now this is a clip that I ripped off of YouTube. It is from the Atlanta Falcons on YouTube. It's from their highlight when they beat the Panthers a couple weeks ago. I have this little clip section highlighted. So I'm gonna drag that in my timeline. You notice it's 720p. I'm gonna size that up. Don't mind the quality of this clip. I did rip it off YouTube, so there's some compression. But point being is this is the clip here. Pretty standard little touchdown to Hayden Hurst. What you're gonna wanna do is, and you don't have to do this, you can edit completely in After Effects, but I like to be, have the ability to open and like kind of modify things in Premiere Pro as well, just in case. What you're gonna do is right click your clip when you have it all done. Wait till you have this, the timestamps and everything and, and everything slowed down if you want. It just makes everything easier if you have all of that pre stuff done before. Go in here, right click, go up to replace with After Effects composition and that will open After Effects for you using Adobe Dynamic Link. So now that we have this up, I'm going to save this in my folder as football effect. What a dynamic link does is it will open that clip in After Effects. So you can modify anything and it'll show up in Premiere too. So basically this effect is essentially just a mask and you duplicate it a couple times. We're gonna find our part where we want this effect to start. I'm gonna say like right there better to give yourself more room if you want to start it right when the ball comes out of his hand that's, that works when you get it to this point you're going to hit G and that'll bring up this tool here zoom in H moves you around go back to G and then just left click and cut the ball out and this doesn't have to be perfect the more accurate you are the better your mask will be and the better the effect will be but there you go you can see that we have the ball cut out in this frame individually and we don't want all this black space here. Go into the mask and go to none and that'll basically go, put it back to normal. You wanna go into, go up to animation, track mask, and that'll bring, over, bring up this little play thing here in this tracker window. Click play and you can see the mask tracks for a couple seconds there. What this does is it automatically, in the frame, it's gonna read the frame and kind of track that, what you already made on the ball. There's a lot of moving parts in the background here with the fans and changing colors and contrasts. And so it's, it's not gonna do a very good job. So what you need to do is kind of go into each individual frame and adjust the mask. Now this is a pretty tedious process. It can be, doesn't have to be. And like I said, However much time you want to spend on this, the more time you spend on this being precise, the better it's going to look as with any mask you're ever doing. Right there is fine. Here, see these are a little out. So what I'm going to do is double click and this is the lazy way. You want to just kind of resize that roughly to what the ball is. And like I said, this is a quick effect, so it does not have to be perfect. And then you want to go to the next frame and you can see we have the same result. And what you want to do is keep doing this for every single frame. Now this is gonna be a tedious process, but you have to do this if you want these types of effects. I'm gonna skip ahead and catch up with y'all when I have all every single one of these frames corrected. Probably took me about five minutes, but as you can see, if we play this back, 
or if we scrub through this, the mask is there through the whole way. It is a lot easier when the quarterback is throwing a perfect spiral. So if you got a quarterback throwing a duck, like you're gonna, might take a little bit longer. What we're going to do now is we're going to label this. We're gonna right click, rename this layer original. And then we're going to command D. A, that is going to duplicate this layer. So what we want to do now is go into masks or you can also hit M and that direct, takes you directly to your mask. Go in here and do add. You make this layer underneath it, go away. And then you can see we just have the ball track in there. It gets rid of everything else. Turn that back on. And while we're at it, I'm gonna do like a little bit of feather just so we get a little bit of a natural blend there. Rename this football, football one. And then you're gonna wanna duplicate this three times, really as many as you want. And, and now from here on out, you can basically do whatever you want. You can get as creative as you want. I'm gonna select all these layers and then hit U on the keyboard and that's gonna bring up all the keyframes from every single effect or mask or whatever we have it applied to each layer. Sometime in this little range, we're going to want to move the position of each layer. So we're going to go to football one, hit P. Wow, my voice just cracked bad there. Make a keyframe and then scrub a little bit. And then we're going to put this, we're gonna drag this over here. So now we have the beginning animated. And I don't like how close that gets. So I'm gonna drag this and keep creating a keyframe so it stays kind of far away, further away from the ball. There we go. And then we want it to go back to one singular ball before he catches it. There's our mask. Right click, hit reset and that'll take it back. So now we have one football animated. While we're at it, I'm going to select these keyframes, right click and do easy ease, and that is going to make your animations more natural. Now, what we want to do is go to football one position, click it and hit command C or copy, and then take the other two layers and paste. So now we have all the footballs doing the same motion with the keyframe. So go to where these second keyframes are and go to football two. And now you can drag this wherever you would like. Delete this keyframe, copy this keyframe, boom. So if we see that, now we have two footballs. I don't like how close this gets again. Probably equidistant as the other one. This is where you can kind of customize how you would like them to look. So. You can really space these footballs out however you want. And now for the third football, uh, go back to your keyframe here on the timeline, take the football and drag it, or you can drag here and adjust it. I'm gonna do right about there. Delete this keyframe again. Go over here, drag it to where you would like it. This is what we have so far. It looks really good, I can't lie. I don't like how the footballs are spaced. So see this bottom football? I want it to be kind of like a triangle. I'm going to move this one. Go back to football one. I'm gonna move it just a little bit right there. So if we play this back, this is what it looks like. Looks really good right now. What I'm going to do is add the finishing touch, add motion blur on all of these layers. That's gonna add a realistic blur to when these footballs are animated. You absolutely want that. It look, makes it look a little bit better. So if we go into Premiere, you can obviously see, we can play this back now in Premiere. And it is animated as we saw it in After Effects, which is a pretty cool thing. So if you wanna get really detailed with it, what I did was I added some sound effects. I have this drawn sword sound effect that I use. I don't know if it's really what I'm looking for, but it's, it's what I had on my computer. Find where those footballs animate, turn this down. And then what I did was I copy and pasted this again, hit command R and I reversed it whenever it goes back in. Fade the end of this a little bit. And then I put a little bit of crowd noise. I had this audio of this crowd noise from this Georgia clip I had of a third down stop. Basic crowd reaction, put it in here, drop it about 10. Wherever the crowd starts to react, I put it when he catches the ball. So about right there, fade it in. 
Also, one really good effect that I use for audio is low pass. This basically puts like a muffled noise on it. This is when it's muffled, when it has low hertz. I don't know what that means. Make a keyframe there and then drag it as much as you can and that'll unmuffle it and animate it. So if we play this back. There we go, touchdown Falcons. Where you can really customize it is the placement of these footballs, like I said. Like you can do four or five like I did in the From example and kind of make it a randomized thing. I've seen people like in Texas A&M, I can't remember the videographer. They animated it so these these footballs like swirl around each other. But I just wanted to give you guys the general point and how to, if you get to this point here, you can pretty much take these footballs wherever. Well, there you have it guys and girls. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section below as well. Like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video, and Happy New Year.